What's going on everyone? Lucky here. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about some information that was given to us from Epic themselves um, yesterday. This was posted on their Twitter, it's posted on the Fortnite site, on the news, their blog, whatever. Um, some, uh, some important information. No, no specifics as to, you know, like numbers or anything like that, but um, basically I'm just going to read this article. It was uh, titled Counterplay and Play Styles, um, and uh, so I'm just going to read this real quick and then give you guys my thoughts. Uh, we are going to continue to make changes to evolve the game and give players multiple ways to counter each other in combat and create more strategies to win the game. This is a theme that they are trying to push across Fortnite with the recent you know nerfs that they've done and, and so forth fortnite's constantly evolving our goal with any changes is to keep the game fun and interesting keeping it feeling fresh and new the game's already fun and interesting and fresh and new and it's different and it's unique so now i don't understand the mentality behind that uh it's important to support a variety of late game strategies that don't boil down to just build lol we strongly believe that the evolution of Fortnite supports a wide range of play styles and counterplay. Currently, the superiority of shotguns, rockets, and uncapped building are such a dominant play style in the final circle that most other strategies are being drowned out. What other strategies? Stand in the open and shoot your weapon at people? Do you just, like, I don't understand. What other strategies can there possibly be? There's no such thing as other strategies in Fortnite. Like, you hide behind trees? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, hide, camp? Like, there... This is this is a rant video, guys. Just saying right now. They they've nerfed rockets, which I agreed they needed to nerf the amount of RPGs you can hold. I'm down with that. They've nerfed shotgun damage. Fine, whatever. Heavy shotguns are still very valuable. Shotguns are still very valuable. They they do high damage. They just can't one pump you at 200 health anymore. Fix the hit registration on shotguns, and the consistency of that, and it makes the game better already. Um, uncapped building. That's that's the scary part right here, guys. This is the part right here. Uncapped building. They wanna they're gonna cap building. Whatever that amounts to, uh whether it's instead of holding basically nine hundred and ninety-nine of each type of materials, you can only hold five hundred of each type of materials. Cut your material inventory down in half. I don't know. I don't know. The, the, the final circle, like, I, I guess it's just because people complain that, oh, well, they don't, they specifically say they don't want uh, the end of a match to end in a giant build battle. So let's just continue reading. We have a few, we've made uh, a few changes recently and we'll continue to make more and give you options to counter other players in combat, especially in the late game. We're exploring changes to weapon balance and resource economy, like resource caps. <sighs> Basically, here's where it is. You should be able you should be able to find victory rounds through multiple strategies. Shotguns should be strong, but other weapons should have room to grow. Not every encounter should end off end in a build off. It's just that that's the skill gap. I'm sorry for those players out there who don't want to build or don't want to learn how to build. I I don't hear people complaining, especially good players, that they lost a good build fight. Like, whenever I get into this massive build fight, especially when I win it, and, I, and I'm and i running away, and I turn around and look, and be like, wow, look at that. Like, it just, it's in, it it's cool to see. And when you run up, and you weren't even in the fight, and you, you from a distance, you see this massive structure that was built, and you could clearly see it was an amazing build fight. And, you, you know, I, I say it all the time, like, wow, those, those guys got an intense fight. I wonder who won that. <laughs> you know, like, like, that, I mean, that's part of the game. That's what makes Fortnite unique and special is the builds. When I started playing Fortnite, I didn't want to build. I won a few matches. Of course, this was in October when the game first came out. I don't know when it first came out, but I played it maybe at most a week and a half after it came out. Um, I was like, no, I'm not building. I was like, building's stupid. Why am I, why am I going to build? Like, you know, I, I have good gun skill. I quickly learned that that's not the case. I quickly learned that I need to build if I want to be better. Increase my skill. Be better than the average player. And then you can take it a step further with edits and all that stuff. 
and I've been continuing to increase and improve my build skills. If you want to get good at the game build, there's no there's no options for like end games. Like it should be the best of the best. Battle Royale should not be easy to win. I'm sorry, it's a battle royale. There's 99 other players that you're fighting against, and it will just in solos. 99 other players that you're fighting against. It's 99 people that you could potentially run across. It should not come easy. It shouldn't people camping in bushes and hiding behind trees because they don't want to build or don't know how to build should not have an opportunity to win the game because I know how to build. I've mastered the the art of building in this game and I I've mastered regaining high ground. Like okay, you know, oh well, if someone's a better builder than me, then I don't stand a chance. Use impulse nades to get a little bit more like jump on them like i have done it so many times use bounce pads now you can jump throw down a jump pad in the middle of a build fight and go above them and land on them things like that catch people off guard learn to edit learn to try to box somebody in like st to stop their building if you guys are side by side put a wall up or a roof a pyramid roof to just stop their builds don't nerf building epic it's the dumbest thing you can do if you do if they if they make this change, they are going to ruin the game. They're going to ruin what makes Fortnite unique and special and fun. They're going to ruin it. Because I can tell you right now what's gonna happen. Let's say let's just I don't we don't know the numbers. We don't know what they're gonna do. Theoretically, they take let's just let's just assume that they cut the resource cap from uh, 999 to 500 across the board on every on each material, right? So now you can only hold 1500 opposed to almost 3000. So you lose half your materials that you can hold. You get into a build fight. 500 materials is not a lot, guys, for each. So 1500 materials. 500 materials, I go if I get into a good build fight, I go through 600 wood. I I could easily go through 600 wood depending on the skill of the other player. So that means that person just used all their wood and I used all my wood. I have no more wood. And then another guy rolls up who is just sitting in the distance and starts building up on me, watching this fight, rolls up. I now have no more wood. He's now at a huge advantage because he's got 400 more mats, 500 more mats than I do. Right off the start, because that dude just used that I just fought and killed, used all his mats, and I used all my mats. Because my, my bank of materials is less. And then it's just going to add frustration. You're going to have people just waiting and camping. Fortnite is not a game of strategy. It's not a game of slow-paced combat. It's a game that I got into... And that most people get into because it's easy to learn. It's easy to pick up. Building's not very difficult. They've made it very easy for console players. They've integrated it well into the game. It's not overpowered. Fortnite's a game that's supposed to be fun. I don't want a game where camping is a thing. Because I don't have the materials to build. And you, you want to give other people strategies and other play styles. What, what, I just don't understand that. I don't understand what play styles are you referring to. Because to me, there's just there's now the, the game's evolved so much that there's literally only two play styles. You've got your builders. Okay, I, I guess maybe three play styles. You've got your builders who are really good at building. Fast builders that build up and get in these massive build fights. You have your... Your average builders who maybe, you know, they know how to build. They know how important it is. They get shot at. They build a couple walls. Maybe build like a two-story one by one. And, you know, they're, they're not the greatest, but they're learning. And then you've got those no-skin noobs and the, the scrubs that just don't build, that hide behind trees and use bushes and use, like, the pre-made structures in-game as cover. And they peek and they hide and they hide. They just they hide in the shadows. And then they they wait they wait for the they stalk their prey because they they just don't know how they don't know how to do anything else. What other play styles? I don't understand what other play styles there is. Why are you gonna nerf building? It, it's it's not a play style. It's not a meta. 
And that's what, like, they're trying to change the meta. It's not a meta. It's part of the game. It's part of the structure of the game. It's integral to the structure of Fortnite and the way we know Fortnite. With that, guys, I'm done. It's a 10-minute video already. I don't know what they're thinking with these changes. I, and I, I promise you that if it's as bad as it may seem and there's a lot of hate around it, I might not play Fortnite for a while unless they fix it. So... Keep that in mind. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really want to know your thoughts on this. I know a lot of people that I play with, um, you know, maybe the, I know some people I play with are not the best builders, but they still build and they think this is stupid. So it says something. Anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. Hopefully you found this rant uh, not too annoying or long. Um, and maybe I hit some good points. Uh, i just been thinking about it since I read this the other day. Um, other than that, guys, thank you for, again, thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitch. Show this to your friends. And uh, I'll catch you guys all later in the, the next video. Till then, take care.